It's a day that celebrates Hancock. Old Home Days features a parade, activities for kids and the whole family. But the most anticipated event happens here, when Quiet Norway Pond becomes the stage for this group of ladies, the Synchro Sisters. The amazing, elegant, creative, beautiful, Hancock's very own claim to fame. Now introducing the Synchro Sisters. Every August at noon, folks fill the beach, eagerly awaiting the Synchro Sisters. They are the most highly anticipated event of the weekend. It feels like the whole town comes and expects it and watches it, and it feels like the pinnacle of the day. Tradition dates back to the 50s and 60s when a group of local women donned swimsuits and bathing caps and twirled around the shallow waters of Norway Pond to the delight of onlookers. Eventually, the original group of ladies moved on, but then in 2009, Amy Marcus rallied a group of women to rekindle the event, and a new generation was born. What was that first performance like? Um, you know, we didn't really think that a lot of people would show up for it. We thought maybe our friends and family, but um, the hillside was full of people and we were uh, pretty surprised, but it, it was a big hit. I'm just like out there having so much fun that I can't contain the laughter. It's just so fun. It brings me so much joy, you know? And our running theme is we're not always synchronized, we're not always swimming, but we're always a spectacle. So. <laughs> This is really, it's a pretty good performance. Um, a good variety of songs and choreography is super fun. And I think we're all having a great time doing it. Each year, it's, I think it gets better and better. Like the expectations get higher and higher and we try to do more and more of a performance. We're on the beach, I think, a little bit longer yeah. each year. be an Olympic swimmer to join the sisters, think again. That's what some people say they're interested in joining. And um, they said, but I'm not really that strong a swimmer. And I said, don't, don't worry. You know, there's not even all that much swimming involved. In fact, one year, there wasn't any water involved. <laughs> When Norway Pond was closed due to bacteria, the sisters had to synchronize on land. The time that the lake was closed, that we didn't find out till that week, and we ended up making like a felt lake, <laughs> and so we put a fake lake just to kind of laugh about the situation, and we did the whole routine out of water on the beach. <laughs> is open to ladies from surrounding towns. If you embrace community spirit and sisterhood, you're in. It's really um, a team effort and everybody helps and suggests moves and, you know, changes things throughout the season and just we're all, it's just a real sisterhood. And it's a great way to give back to the community too. Um, even people that come that you don't know will congratulate you and say, oh, great performance. So it's just, it's nice seeing people in the town come out to support us.
begin brainstorming months ahead of time, although choreographing steps in the studio and then adapting the routine to the water is a bit challenging. Eight and ripple, two, three, four, five, hold six, seven, eight, and swim. You're working with a new resistance, your balance is different, it, so it changes the timing. The ladies love to perform so much, they're considering producing a routine they can perform outside the water in the off season. The synchro dancers, perhaps. So I propose doing synchro off season out of water and going and touring like assisted living facilities and doing a performance for the residents. So I think that would be a great thing to do. Whenever it ends for us, the group, we're all like, oh, it goes so fast and it's over. <laughs> Just an amazing tradition, yeah. Can't imagine summer without being part of it.